beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we're talking about a new release from Odin's Eye Cosmetics this is such a cool collection it's a continuation of their Soul Main collection this is Soul Main 2 it's a lot bigger it's a lot brighter and it is spoiler alert super super gorgeous <laughs> I haven't been this excited about an entire collection in a really long time. I want to go through and show you everything really close up in this collection. We're gonna do swatches of everything. I've had my hands on this for a while. Odin's Eye sent this over to me pretty early, so I've had a chance to play with a lot of these items and to really give you a full in-depth review. Before we get into all of the close-ups and swatches of the products, I just want to remind you I have a discount code for Odin's Eye. It's just my first name, Amanda. That will save you 10% on most stuff on their site. Typically just their collaborations are excluded from their discount codes. This is an affiliate code, so I do earn a small commission if you choose to use it. It doesn't make it more expensive for you, but I just want to be upfront about that. So just keep that in mind when you inevitably fall in love with this entire collection like I have. You can save just a little bit of cash by using the code AMANDA at checkout. Okay, let's start with the one non-makeup item in this collection. There is a makeup mirror. Odin's Eye typically does do a lot of really cool extras. They have makeup bags or scarves or hair ribbons or brushes. They do all kinds of cool extras. I'm somebody who loves a good accessory, so let's take a close-up look at this makeup mirror first. Packaging across the board is just so beautiful to me. I love a celestial theme. This is the type of outer box packaging that you just never want to throw away. Inside, you'll see there is a foam insert that will protect the mirror during shipping. And this is a smaller hand mirror. I'm going to give you a side-by-side -side comparison just with my actual hand so you can see. I'm not a very tall person. I have some pretty small little hands. So this isn't huge, although I do love that it's double-sided and there's a three times magnification on one side. So, you know, if you're looking for a full face mirror, this is probably too small, but this does have a lot to offer. With the two different magnifications, plus this would be easy to pack to travel or just to store. So I don't really mind the size here. Next we have this gel liner set. I believe that these liners are a completely new product for Odin's Eye. It's possible that they had them before and I'm just not aware of it, so apologies if I'm totally out of line there, but I'm pretty sure this is a new product for them. It's always exciting to see brands launch completely new formulas. And while I'm not a huge eyeliner girl, these are the type of liners that I'm gonna reach for if I actually use an eyeliner once in a blue moon, I will pull out a colorful little cream gel pencil liner and that's exactly what these are. I'll open up the kit here for you. You can see there is a whole variety of colors. There are a couple of metallic finishes in here too, but for the most part, these are just the cream gel pencils. Pretty similar to the ColourPop BFF ones. I will say there's a little bit more variation in the creaminess of these Odin's eyeliners, whereas the ColourPop ones are always super creamy. They all glide on really, really easily for me. Some of these do that and some of them are a little bit more stiff. However, a big difference for these is the staying power. I'll show you a clip of me trying to remove some of these swatches and these last a lot longer than the ColourPop ones. So these liners will be sold individually as well as in this full 15 piece set as well. I don't know what the packaging, the outer packaging for the individuals will look like, but I do have this gorgeous vault packaging. Again, I just love love the design on this. When you open up inside, you can see it's not like there's a mirror or anything in here, but there are all of the shades with the shade names arranged in the lid, which is very helpful for review purposes. I'll tell you that. And then when you see them all stacked here, they just look so 
pretty together, a definite eyeliner rainbow. Now, there are a lot here. There are 15 different shades. That's a lot of eyeliner for one individual person. Now, if you are a makeup artist or if you are just a diehard eyeliner lover and this is the type of product that you go through really quickly, then this full set may be a great investment for you. The value for the full set is amazing because you are getting 15 different eyeliners for $59.90. So they are priced at about $3.99 a piece, whereas the individuals are going to be priced at $5.90 a piece. So if you're interested in many, many of these shades, then value-wise, the full set is the way to go. Or you can always go in on the set with a couple of friends and split up the shades. That's always fun too. You know, I love the idea of a makeup party. These are twist up so you don't have to sharpen them. However, on the end, if you pull the colorful cap on the end, there is a little sharpener there if your liner gets a little too dull and you just want a little more precision, you can use the end to sharpen it. I decided to break up the swatches into two different sets. That way you can really individually appreciate these colors instead of them all being real jammed in there with some little thin swatches. I like to show it this way so you can really get a sense of the color and you can also see, you know, more area where it was applied so you can tell which ones are more opaque. Like I think you can kind of tell the greens I struggled with a little bit more than say the pink and the orange. There is a kind of hit or miss quality to these, but let me tell you the staying power. You can see me wiping it here with a micellar water wipe and I did have to use an oil-based makeup remover to remove the swatches. So these are very, very long lasting. I've worn one of these in the waterline. You'll get to see that in my second video about this collection. I do have a video coming where I try on a whole bunch of different products and show you some different looks. And I wore the mint color in my waterline and it lasted for so long and looked so bright and vibrant all day long. So these are really high quality. Okay, we've got quite a few more products to get through. Let's talk about the palette next. I know I usually save the palette for last in my collection reviews, but I do not feel that this is the grand finale of this collection. That doesn't mean that this palette is not beautiful, stunning, gorgeous, high quality, which it is, but just wait until you see what's next. This is the Soulmain 2 palette. It's colorful, it's interesting, it's got a great mix of matte shimmers, which you know I love. As always for Odin's Eye, the details are beautiful. The formulas are incredible. I really, I have to say, I've never had a dud. I've never had a dud in an Odin's Eye palette. I don't know how they do it, but I like it a lot. <laughs> so let's take a close up look at the Soul Main palette packaging, some swatches. I think I'm gonna save my tutorials and do a whole separate video that way you can see a couple different tutorials because this palette has so much to offer color story wise. So I think I'm gonna do another video where I do two or three looks using this palette because one tutorial is not enough. This is such a gorgeous palette. I'm not a huge rainbow palette type of girl, but something about this is just right for me. So let's take a close up look at this Soul Main 2 palette now. This palette has 15 shades and it will be priced at $32.90 US. Just look, just look at this. Look at the little holographic details, all the colors. I love this packaging. It's so pretty. It's so inspiring. It's just so much fun. And on the back, you can see the ingredients list. This is the back of the sleeve. So this comes in a sleeve that the palette itself slides out of. And the front is the exact same cover art, but on the back of the actual palette, instead of the ingredients list, there are shade names. I also wanted to mention that this collection launches on May 20th. I put it on the screen at the very, very beginning, but just in case you're listening and not actually watching everything on the screen, this launches May 20th. Sorry, I was so excited. I just forgot to mention that. 
This palette has a mirror inside. It's very typical of their other palettes. It's a heavy duty cardboard packaging with magnetic closure and it has the more oval shaped mirror versus a large rectangle mirror. Now, when you look inside here, you can see some of the shades have these special little imprints and we have a great split, eight mattes, seven metallics. Each row is laid out in sort of a monochromatic color story. So the top is a blue row, in the middle there's a purpley row, and then on the bottom there are these golden, warm, sunny tones. But obviously you can mix and match however you see fit. I'm just mentioning that because I swatched these in their little color group rows. So when we move over to the swatch portion, that's why I didn't just want to stick all of these colors in together. I really want to give you a good close-up look at how these look on the skin. Sometimes I feel like when I put too many shades all on my arm, it's hard to appreciate the individual colors and the individual formula performances. So here, as usual, finger swatches are on top and then each shade is swatched with a dry brush below. That way you can see two different application methods. As usual for Odin's Eye, these are beautifully high performing, pigmented, but without a ton of fallout, blendable, just gorgeous buttery shadows. I love the Odin's Eye formula and every single one of these shades has been high performing for me. I've used almost every single shade in this palette on my eyes over the past several days and like I said, none of them are duds. Never a dud from Odin's Eye. I cannot describe to you <laughs> the emotions that flood through my body. <laughs> when I opened these, these cheek products are so beautiful. I, I'm at a loss for words. I, whoo, whoo. Okay. We have been blessed <laughs> with six blushes and six highlighters. These are unbelievably beautiful. This packaging is breathtaking. Every single shade <laughs> performs so beautifully. I don't know if a review is going to be sufficient, but these are absolutely stunning. I think the cheek products are the absolute standout from this release. You'll see what I mean. Let's go through the blushes first. I'm going to show you close-ups. I'm going to show you live swatches. These are, whew, whew. Brace yourself. Brace yourself for the beauty you're about to see. I'm going to try to remain calm. No promises. This is the Sunlight Love blusher. These are priced at $20.90 US each. There are six different shades. We're getting a bunch of different finishes. All the outer packaging is exactly the same. However, the back of both the box and the compact will have the shade name label on there. So that's how you can really tell these apart if you decide to grab more than one. Nobody will blame you for that. So we're gonna look at the matte blushes first. There are three matte blushers. This one's called Warm Sun. You can see, I just wanted to show you that there are little mirrors in each one of these compacts as well. I love this packaging. I love a printed powder. If you've seen my Instagram page, you know this is something that I cannot resist. I will not resist. I mean, just, just look how pretty this is. Like I said, I'm going to show you live swatches so you can see these actually going on to my arm for the swatch. Sometimes I think that's just fun, helpful, since I'm not applying any to my face in this video. I will in the tutorial, but today I wanted to show you just some live arm swatches so you can see all of these colors in action. Next, we have a pink shade called Sunset Clouds. This is really the only pink matte blusher. The others are very, very orangey terracotta type of colors. I really like that they're offering a bunch of different finishes because everybody does have their own preferences just based on how they like to wear their makeup and also very much skin type plays a role. I know that a lot of my more oily skin friends are not 
huge fans of all shimmery shimmery cheek products so there are some great matte options here i really like all of these colors when it comes to the matte blushes i kind of have a tie for my favorite and i've actually worn warm sun and sunset clouds mixed together those are my two top picks orange sunny is just a little bit too reddish and too deep for me but they're all beautiful all show up super super well on the skin as well now we're gonna look at some shimmery blushes look at this ombre that is not an overspray this is a shimmery blush through and through i do think there's a bit of a glitter overspray element to these to enhance their initial look but these are shimmery powders all the way through at least two out of the three shimmery ones are shimmer all the way through so the first one and this one, Sienna Luster, are both very shimmery powders. And then the very last one that we look at is more of a satiny finish. And that one seems to have some gold glitters throughout, but even in the swatch, you'll be able to tell the difference. The first two that I showed in this round of swatches are very shimmery. I think they could be great highlighters. I use them more like a blush topper. I love a shimmery blush, but when you see this peach gleam shade swatched, I think you can just automatically tell the difference in finish compared to the other two in this swatch. And I'll also show you a side-by-side -side of the compact so you can see that I do think peach gleam has a little bit of an overspray element to it, whereas the other more shimmery blushes, not so much. So when you see these side by side, this is Sienna Luster and Peach Gleam. And I think you can tell the difference in the powders here and how they've held up to use and to swatching. So hopefully you can tell what I mean by that. Okay, last, definitely not least, last and most. These are the Moonlight Feel Highlighters, and they are... These are so beautiful. I cannot tell you. The packaging is stunning. The print on the powder is stunning. The swatches are stunning. On the skin, it's stunning. There's absolutely nothing I can say. I might as well just show you up close what I'm talking about. So let's go through these Moonlight Feel highlighters and grab a tissue, hydrate, put on an extra pair of socks because these are going to knock your socks off. I took several deep breaths before I started this voiceover portion because I'm going to try my best not to yell at you, not to cry tears of joy. Just, just take a little glimpse here. This is so pretty. I love this compact so much. I am a girl that loves the celestial theme. I am particularly drawn to moon themes. So this, these just really get me in my feelings all around. And also purple is one of my favorite colors. It's my favorite makeup color. So I'm just, whew, I'm trying my best to breathe through the excitement because this is absolutely crazy how just unbelievably gorgeous and well thought out and the details and it it brings me a lot of joy it brings me a lot of joy i don't know if you can relate to that i'm going to show you the live swatches they are absolutely incredible this one moon talks kind of a greenish color pink star is one of two more pinky toned highlighters and i do think those two are more similar so i would say probably don't have to go for both. Are they exactly the same? No. Pink Star is a little bit lighter, has a little bit more of a white base, but overall those two are pretty similar. Now this one, Warm Sunshine, is definitely the softest, probably quote unquote the most basic. It also happens to be my favorite and the one that I have worn the most. So, you know, take that for what you will, but I really love it. I just think it's so shiny and shifty and if you want to talk about shiny and shifty look at this beauty this is lavender dream oh my god is this real life now i'm more likely to wear this on my eyes than on my face but frankly i would wear this on my elbows and be happy because look at how 
bright and shiny it is. Okay. Okay. Back to my deep breaths. I'm sorry. I told you I was very excited by these. <laughs> these live swatches are just incredible. You should have seen my eyes bugging out when I first started swatching these. I'll also show you a low light swatch with my ring light turned down a little bit later so that you can see truly how sparkly and shifty these are. They look quite different in different lighting and from different angles, so I'm going to do my best to display that for you in this video. This is our final shade, Rose Sky. It's the other pink that I was referencing earlier on, and I think you can tell here it does just reflect back a little bit deeper. It's more of a grayish flip, whereas the other pink, Pink Star, has more of a whitish flip. So it just depends on what you're interested in. I don't think they're exactly the same, and you can tell that a lot more in this lower light swatch. All of these are so fun, so interesting. I absolutely, if you can't tell, I absolutely love these highlighters. Well, I think it's pretty obvious at this point that I love this collection. I am thrilled by every single little detail. As usual for Odin's Eye, beginning to end is just incredibly well thought out. Gorgeous details. The packaging is exciting. The formulas are high performance. The colors are beautiful. They have that perfect balance between something that's really wearable and something that's really exciting. I just feel like, I've said this before, I'll say it again, this is one of the brands that I continue to watch, continue to be excited about. That's coming from somebody who sees a lot, a lot of makeup. <laughs> this is one of the most exciting, if not the most exciting release of the year so far. It's beautifully done from beginning to end. There is no way you will be disappointed with any of these things. My top picks are for sure the cheek products, closely followed by the palette. It's not that the eyeliners and mirror are bad by any means. I think those are a great addition to this collection. They're just not the type of products that I personally am going to gravitate towards and use all the time. But if you're going to get only one thing from this collection, get one of the cheek products because these are so beautiful. <laughs> Now's the time when I want to hear what you think about this collection. Are you just over the moon excited about this like I am? Are you interested in anything? Are you going to pick anything up? Don't forget you can use my code at checkout if you want to save a little bit. I always love to hear what you think about things too so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! And it's, it's going to be a really good review. <laughs> just saying. I mean, I'm giving the products a good review, not that my review is good, although I hope my review is good. I don't know. I'm rambling. It's really early. <laughs> it's way earlier than I usually film, but you know, we got a lot of moving parts going on in life right now, so <laughs> this is just the way it's got to be. Before we... Okay. I really have a feeling I'm going to spill these everywhere when I start talking about them. Okay. <sighs> just got to work with what I got, you know what I'm saying? Whew. 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 Did you, did you look? Did you see this? Are you kidding me? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna take a deep breath because I need to prepare my body for these highlighters. It's not even, it's not even reasonable to make things this beautiful. I hope they made a lot of these because this is a sellout product. I'm... Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Did you see it? Oh my gosh, okay. I'm not angry, I'm just excited. <laughs> You know, you already know by now I love a good celestial theme. If you've ever taken a look around in my Etsy shop, I make so many celestial themed items because it's just something that really appeals to me. So I had the perfect earrings that I made to go with this collection. It's like a little, oh let me flip it over, a little sun and moon earrings. How cute, right? There's still, I think there's still like two or three pairs of these left in my Etsy shop, but I have a ton of Celestial stuff, and if you don't wear jewelry, I have like t-shirts and stickers. I make all kinds of stuff. I love making things. I love a Celestial theme. I love all this makeup. And you know what else I love? Your face. I love each and every one of your beautiful little faces. Thank you for hanging out here with me when it's way too early and I am very caffeinated. I just, I appreciate you. I'm glad you're here and I think you're cool and I will see you soon. Okay.
Bye bye now. Bye bye.